Using a mind-expanding substance, a couple creates the perfect all-American beauty for their esteemed clients. In Texas, a man prepares an instrument while a wounded blonde girl is bound behind him. She begs for forgiveness, promising to do better, but the man places duct tape over her mouth. He then takes a piece of equipment and inserts it between her legs, causing blood to splatter everywhere. One afternoon, Lorian parks her car, not knowing that Sheriff Maddox is taking photos of her as she walks to the grocery store. When she returns, a van suddenly stops, and two masked men take her away. Maddox follows them, and a woman watches the events from the surveillance footage. In a mansion, Heinrich instructs a blonde woman during her pictorial. He commands her to satisfy her man daily and do as she's told. The woman is then escorted into a black van. Meanwhile, Lorian wakes up, blindfolded and bound. As she struggles, Misha arrives with a syringe in her hand. She tells her not to fight back, and Lorian nervously asks if more victims are in the house. Misha simply says there's a cost for everything beautiful before sedating her. As Lorian struggles to keep awake, Misha admires her blonde hair and blue eyes, which she calls the best America has to offer. She notes that Lorian must make up for Heinrich's indulgence, which she can't blame him for since it's always the woman's fault. When Misha joins Heinrich later, he berates her for sampling their merchandise, which will diminish their value. Misha insists that she didn't touch Lorian but Heinrich insults her. He points out that she makes the other women beautiful, yet doesn't make the same effort for herself. Tearfully, she asks him why he married her, but he just orders her to get their next Sophia ready. After she leaves, Heinrich inhales a substance called Aqua Velva. This instantly puts him in a giddy mood, rambling about how they will soon understand what he means. That evening, Lorian wakes up and easily unshackles herself. She steps out and searches the other rooms, finding one where a girl with bleached blonde hair just smiles at her. Creeped out, Lorian steps away and finds an open window to climb out of. A woman named Charlotte tries to warn her, but Lorian jumps off the roof, breaking her ankle upon landing. Unfortunately, the couple immediately finds her. She asks if they'll kill her, but Heinrich assures her that they wouldn't. As Misha carries her away, Heinrich admires Lorian's beauty, making his wife jealous. While tending to her sprain, Misha warns that Lorian will be punished for what she did. Lorian accuses her of trafficking women, but Misha calls it creating beauty. She warns her that being curious won't help her, but being obedient will. When Misha leaves, the trapped woman cries out in despair. That same night, Lorian wakes up to see Charlotte on top of her. She pushes her off and demands who she is. Acting like a child, Charlotte says she's no one before leaving. She tries to follow her, but loses sight of her. Meanwhile, the couple drowns themselves in hallucinations. Heinrich takes an inhalant and sees a hovering clown-like face. He tells it that he'll survive and attain what the entity has. Heinrich then peeks into a dollhouse where dolls that look like them wave at him. The entity then accuses Heinrich of eating from the tree, so he'll become one of them. Heinrich simply replies that no one could stop his success. Suddenly, Misha pulls him to sit and pleasures him as he stares blankly at the ceiling. The following day, Lorian wakes up and finds one of her toes cut off. Charlotte creeps behind her, saying it's up to Heinrich whether she lives or gets sold. However, she compliments Lorian for not being like the others. She suggests that she should read the Bible, but Lorian tearfully refuses. Instead, Lorian asks her to get the car keys, but Charlotte hints that she's not acting out of her free will. Otherwise, she would have killed the couple already. Lorian asks who controls her, but Charlotte just warns that Heinrich will change her, so she suggests that Lorian should play along. Misha suddenly barges in and whips Charlotte. She later ties Charlotte up in the barn to punish her. Despite this, Charlotte taunts that Misha is only punishing her because she hates beautiful women. Misha warns her to leave Lorian alone since she might decrease her value. Charlotte points out that she's the one who cut off Lorian's toe, but Misha blames Charlotte for breaking the rules. Charlotte calls her a miserable woman, but Misha argues that she's a happily married woman. Hearing this, Charlotte hints that Heinrich wants her more than his wife. As Misha denies this, Charlotte teases that the Legion is tracking her as she's becoming one of them. Later, Misha advises Lorian to do as she's told or she'll end up as pig food. Sensing a weak point in the woman, Lorian pretends to admire Heinrich. Misha grabs her, but Lorian reminds her not to harm the merchandise. That afternoon, Maddox arrives, demanding more products from Heinrich. Heinrich explains that the process isn't an exact science, so they can't just make the products. Maddox admits that they're still happy with the result, so he hands him a case of aqua velva as a gift. Maddox then discreetly visits Lorian's room, waking her up by pressing on her injured foot. Lorian initially thinks he's there to help, but loses hope when he caresses her legs. 
Desperate, Lorian promises to cooperate if Maddox calls her boyfriend. But the sheriff reveals that her boyfriend was the one who set her up. Lorian cries as Maddox explains that her parents hired the best investigator to find her, but they all report back to him, making it worthless. He then forces himself onto her until she bites him in the face. Enraged, he punches her before cursing his way out of the house. Soon after, the couple announces that it's time to turn Lorian into a lovely woman before sedating her. In the lab, Lorian lies on a steel bed while five mysterious individuals surround her. Heinrich then wakes her up and explains that they injected her with a mind-expanding substance. He then shows her a blue card. And after confirming that she can recognize it, he forces her to watch violent and suggestive videos. The videos lull Lorian into mind control, and soon, she starts dancing. After a while, Misha fires a gun to make her stop. Lorian's eyes gaze emptily as Heinrich carries her back to the table and commands her to touch herself. She complies and shares a moment with Heinrich, so Misha punches her out of jealousy. In his room, Heinrich hallucinates a woman telling him to do what they asked because he knows what'll happen if he doesn't. In reality, however, the woman is a corpse on a chair. Meanwhile, Charlotte talks to an entity in the barn, which she calls the Power. She asks the entity to rule over her, so it enters her body. The next day, Maddox arrives to deliver a new Sophia to a client. He praises Heinrich for making such great dolls, but Heinrich explains that they'll be increasing the prices as the costs have skyrocketed. Maddox points out that he produced less this month, thinking that the aqua velva clouds his judgment. In her room, Lorian sleeps as Charlotte asks about her life. She says they can help each other, so Lorian opens up to her. Charlotte then tells her that Heinrich is under the entity's control, but Lorian thinks Heinrich loves her. She asks her if she's a friend, but Charlotte replies that she's not anything before slowly disappearing, revealing that Lorian was just hallucinating. Lorian then looks into the Bible and finds a sharp nail file. Later, the couple does electrotherapy on Lorian while Charlotte feels the same electrocution. During this, Lorian sees Charlotte in her dream, warning her not to go where they want her to go. However, Lorian starts to believe that her life before was a joke. She thinks she can't be programmed but also can't return to her old life. As she pictures herself roaming the hallway, Lorian decides that everything is fake and this game is much easier. In her mind, Lorian sees herself waking up with her feet uninjured. As she's driving, she sees another her, who lists down her old life revolving around work, her boyfriend, parties, and vacations as she tries to get into the inner circle. She then finds herself surrounded by masked mannequins, only to discover that the mannequins are dead women. Lorian also finds her dead body among them, so she wears a mask and blends in. At the lab, Heinrich explains to Misha that he developed the technique to create a Sophia doll 20 years ago, and now they have perfected it through Lorian. In her mind, Lorian hears someone calling her Legion. When she turns, she finds the sadistic couple watching her. Still, she decides that their time will come. Soon, Lorian wakes up. Heinrich thinks that they're ready for the grand finale, but Misha worries that Lorian will fail. This concerns her because she doesn't want to die, but Heinrich pulls her sleeve up, revealing the cuts on her arms. One day, in the field, Heinrich tests Lorian, whom she now calls Sophia. He commands her to put a gun in her mouth and pull the trigger. She obeys and finds the gun empty, thus passing the test. That same afternoon, Heinrich evaluates her sensual capabilities. As soon as he enters her room, Lorian undresses and kisses him. She leans on him, so Heinrich admits that he almost doesn't want to let her go. Unable to resist, Heinrich makes love to Lorian which a furious Misha sees from the cameras. She cuts her arm as she watches the two get intimate. In the evening, a man named Billy goes to the house. Misha lets him get drunk and high before leading him to a room with a corpse on the bed. Despite this, he spends intimate time with the body. Suddenly, Heinrich enters with the ladies. He asks Lorian if it's acceptable for Billy to sleep with a corpse, to which she doesn't respond. He then commands Lorian to shoot the man. So she does. That evening, Misha and Heinrich visit a bound Charlotte in the barn. Heinrich gets intimate with her as his wife makes out with him. Later, Lorian joins the couple for dinner. He announces that Lorian is not a true Sophia doll since she's different from the others. Unhinged, Lorian smiles, but Misha interrupts by proposing a toast. Still, Lorian flirts with Heinrich, leading a jealous Misha to cut herself. Charlotte then enters and starts tasting everything but spits them out. The girl then starts berating Heinrich for making dolls for lonely men. She compares him to ancient science that just creates trauma from trauma. As she rambles on, the others try to ignore her until she hints that their clients won't be paying for a new Sophia since they're just manipulating the couple as well. Charlotte then declares that she's leaving with Lorian, so she demands the keys. When they continue to ignore her, she stabs Heinrich's hand, then Misha. She then shoots the chandelier and asks for the key again. Finally, Heinrich hands it to her, so she leaves with Lorian. Charlotte and Lorian get in the car, but Heinrich comes out, shooting at them. Charlotte tries to run, 
but Misha catches her and knocks her down. She then rushes to Heinrich while Lorian wanders away. In the barn, Misha ties and scolds Charlotte for interfering with them. Charlotte laughs, claiming that they're not a team. So Misha whips her until Heinrich stops her. She asks why he always protects her, adding that Lorian is a failure. However, he assures her that Maddox is looking for Lorian already. Elsewhere, two women in a van see Lorian and ask her if she's okay. However, Lorian doesn't respond. Seeing a police car approaching, the women leave to let them handle her. Upon returning to the house, Lorian wakes up, screaming as Misha drills into her foot. In the morning, the couple discusses the funds they need, and Misha assures Heinrich that they'll get it next week. Heinrich gets annoyed as they don't have that much time. She asks why he doesn't love her but he reminds her that he saved her from her failing punk band. When Misha declares that she wishes Charlotte was dead, Heinrich slaps her, reminding her that Charlotte also designed the program. She used to study theoretical physics and helped him, but she started to regress. As he inhales the aqua velva, Misha cries, wondering what happened to their lives. However, Heinrich just instructs her to get Lorian fully bleached. Misha warns her husband that the substance is killing him, but he declares that it's the future because they chose him. He throws powder in her face and orders her to fix Lorian's foot, as he's sick of her feeble attempts at control. Later, as Misha baits Lorian, the young woman claims that Heinrich doesn't see what she sees in Misha. Thinking that she's regaining consciousness, she slaps her. While preparing her for electrotherapy, Lorian talks to Charlotte in her mind, who tells her that the couple has decided to kill her. Lorian asks why she's helping her, so she explains that she needs to cooperate to survive. After she gets electrocuted, Lorian imagines Misha cutting off her limbs before Billy attempts to get on top of her. She then pictures herself stuffing a doll into a corpse's mouth before seeing many versions of herself. Lorian decides that she's only a clone of a clone since the world is a simulation. With that in mind, she decides what to be instead. Moments later, she wakes up to Heinrich saying that she's their greatest creation because she'll do anything they ask despite being free. That night, Heinrich uses Aqua Velva, and an entity appears before him. Still feeling like he isn't getting enough credit for his creation, he smashes their dollhouse. Meanwhile, Misha calls Maddox, who warns her about the clients pulling the operation. He discovered that they were only using them for an experiment, tracking their progress from the data they got from the Sophias to perfect the Aqua Velva. He tells her to kill Lorian while he deals with Heinrich. Elsewhere, Charlotte tells Heinrich to let Lorian go if he wants to survive. Heinrich insists that she's the key, but Charlotte stresses that they chose the wrong girl, and the clients knew that since they gave her to them. Still, Heinrich insists that he can succeed. In the bedroom, Misha forces herself onto Lorian to assert her power over her. This leads Lorian to discover Misha's manhood, so she takes the chance and stabs her with a nail file. Lorian runs into the mannequin's room, and Misha follows her with a gun. Heinrich hears the gunshots, so he rushes back. Trying to escape, Lorian runs downstairs only to find Heinrich, who also shoots at her. As she's hiding, Lorian finds a gun, but an entity appears before her, telling her that there are two worlds. The distraction allows Lorian to get shot, but she still escapes outside. The wounded Lorian runs, but Maddox chases her in his car. She suddenly disappears, so the sheriff exits his car and searches with a flashlight and a rifle. Seeing something in the dark, he shoots. However, Lorian jumps at him from behind and bites his ear off. She then goes into the car, but he hops onto the hood, so she puts the car in reverse, dropping him. Finally, she runs him over repeatedly before taking the dismembered parts. At the house, Misha staples skin onto Heinrich's face to cover his wound, though he feels nothing. He expresses his exhaustion and blames Misha for forcing everyone to think the same way as her. However, she reasons that she's the one who figures things out, so he needs her. Soon, someone knocks on the door, but when they open it, Maddox's body falls into pieces before them. The couple quickly grab guns and start hunting for Lorian in the field. However, Lorian shoots Heinrich. He follows her into the barn and opens fire as he can't see where she is. When he stops, Lorian shoots him again. But the insane Heinrich doesn't feel pain anymore. He resumes fire and accidentally hits Misha, killing her. Without remorse, Heinrich takes Aqua Velva but spills it all over his face. Finally, Lorian shoots him, creating a hole in his chest. Surprisingly, he still talks, so Charlotte arrives, apologizing to her brother before decapitating him. Stunned, Lorian asks if he's really Charlotte's brother. In response, Charlotte knocks her out. With Lorian strapped to a table, Charlotte scolds her for breaking her brother, whom she believed was a master of this world. She tried to give Lorian back to her old life so they could continue their work and even gave her a chance to kill Misha as she never wanted her to be with her brother. This leads Lorian to realize that Charlotte is the true mastermind. As revenge, Charlotte powers up a drill between Lorian's legs, plotting to kill her slowly. However, Lorian breaks free from her shackles and pushes Charlotte's head into the drill. She then escapes and hides as the wounded Charlotte searches for her. Seeing an opening, Lorian stabs Charlotte with a garden fork. 
Finally, Dawn arrives, and Lorian walks free, still carrying the horrors of her experience. Subscribe to watch more videos like this. Turn on notifications. And leave a like it really helps the channel out. Thank you for watching.